I had dinner after the VIP night with my buddy that lives in Dallas. He's not a real estate agent. And we were talking about this. And he was, I haven't talked to him in years, and he was talking about, we were talking about, you know, me speaking and how I'm coaching for free and how it all works and all this stuff. And I was telling him the dynamics of the whole thing. And he said, you know what, that is interesting because there's a homeless guy right around the corner here. And he, you know, I was walking past and he came up and he he asked me where I'm from. He didn't ask me for any money. He just asked me where I'm from. And then he said, they kind of had a little conversation. He said, oh, I'm from Alabama and stuff, Mobile. And the guy said, oh yeah, I know Mobile, the underwater tunnel and all that stuff. And they had a little conversation. The guy never asked him for a dollar. My buddy said, see you later and left. The next day, he saw the homeless guy and he gave him some money. Why? Because the homeless guy didn't ask him for money like all the other homeless people. He was actually curious about my buddy and he created kind of a little relationship with him. And my buddy knew that he needed money, he's homeless. So next time he's seen him, he's like, I like that guy, I'm gonna give him some money. So what I don't want you guys to do is sound like every other real estate agent. How he, how he didn't sound like every other homeless person begging for money. I don't need you agents acting like every other real estate agent begging for deals. What I want you to, to look at when you're looking at a market is not the opportunity of transactions. I want you to think about it in terms of the opportunity of relationships in the market. Remember market share. It's the percentage of property owners in your market that you have a relationship with. What agent has the most real relationships with property owners in the area? There's no way in the world ever in a million years that you can talk to every single person in Dallas. Never. So there's an unlimited potential of relationships for the rest of your life forever. You'll never even, you never even get to them all, okay? Transactions come from a conversation that got converted into a relationship that was then converted into the transaction. You can go back through the worst of the markets through your MLS and recognize that there were closings that were happening every single day. So what does that tell us? It tells us we don't have to worry about the next crash. If it ever happens, when it ever happens, it doesn't matter because closings are gonna continue to happen every single day, okay? So think about this, when a market transitions, this is what happens, I want you guys to really pay attention to this, this is important. When the market's going up, like it did from 2012 to 2017, 18, when the market's doing this, okay, the people that are buying and selling when the market's doing this, they they, they put the brakes on when the market does this which I don't know about Dallas is where my market is. And I know a lot of markets in the country, they have, it has, it's a different market over the last say 18 months than it was the previous five years. So when the market transitions, the clients that you have that you're working with, all of a sudden put the brakes on because the market shifts, right? The prices, you know, things are staying longer on the market, inventory goes up, you know, things are changing. They're like, oh, I don't know what to do here. And it scares agents out of the business because your clients that you're working with right then currently stop, they just put the brakes on. And you're like, oh no, I need money, Uh, go get a job. Here's the reality of it. Here's how you transition with the market, okay? Number one, you don't freak out. And you understand that closings will continue to happen every day. The people that buy when it's going like this, not the same clients that are buying when it's doing this. When the market shifts, you'll have a temporary slow down in your business. You won't be slow down because any downtime you should fill up making phone calls and contacting people and helping people. You should never have a moment of downtime ever. But as far as your transactions, that's going to slow down temporarily. But then the, this is what separates the good agents and the great agents. The great agents understand this. They transition with the market. They get right back on track where they were. That's what's happened to me. My business slowed down earlier this year. Spring and summer, it's kind of dead. Now I'm right back to where I was or better because I understand this philosophy because I've been through it and I'm trying to tell you so that you don't have to, so you have some kind of idea. That way when it happens, you know how to handle it. When people see you everywhere, they feel like they know you. I want you guys to, to really put some thought into personal branding, making videos, Facebook, Instagram, email, however you want to do it. 
but you have to put a plan together to build your brand of the customers that are in your market so that they know who you are forever.